Thanks, Lash Kim Corda. I've just arrived from the protests in front and at the back of the doll at this stage. Um, those people and the people who organise the protest are ordinary people who have jobs, who have lots of things to be doing in their lives, and they've done far more in their activity, in their organising to address the housing crisis than this government uh, has done, which is meant to be uh, its job. Uh, I have to say, and this is a warning to the government, that the protest today reminded me of the early stages of the anti-water charges movement, uh, and I think that people's anger is now overflowing at the lack of action of this government and the reality of policies that serve the interests of the landlords and developers. And they gave me a series of demands that they asked me to read in the, in the doll. A young man handed them to me, so I'll get through as many as I can. He said, we demand that this crisis be declared a national emergency and treated as such by the government. We demand the immediate resignation of Owen Murphy, Minister for Housing. We demand that there be a national emergency livable full-time unit set up immediately for those who are on the streets at present and that there be dramatic change to the current homeless accommodation in place. We call for an end to one night only beds and rolling beds to be replaced with 24-hour short-term ter ter beds. We demand that an immediate feasible rent cap be put in place, be on permanent or temporary to protect those from evictions. We demand that HAP be granted before the lease is signed and that under the Data Protection Act that the tenant is under no obligation to declare to landlords that they are accessing the HAP scheme. We demand the recommencement and continuation of building and supply of local authority housing and affordable homes. We demand full disclosure of NAMA owned properties and full disclosure of net worth of said properties and lands. Irish courts must protect consumers' rights under EU law in mortgage arrears cases and must assess mortgage documents for unfair mortgage terms. We want to see a way forward of thinking and actual changes made. We demand to see members participate and homelessness to be treated as a national emergency first and foremost, and also a serious crisis which doesn't just affect the homeless, it affects mental health, the health services, the emergency services, the education system. It continues across the board and seeps into every aspect of society, seen and unseen. Thank you.